thanks for joining me for this week's ADM Agriculture Limited Grain Market Update. My name is Chris Colley and I trade the feed barley here at ADM. And this week we're just going to take a quick look through the recent developments in the feed barley market following the start of the winter harvest in recent weeks. But first, just a note on the end of the old crop season. Uh, the end of the 2020 campaign was a really quite tricky situation at the start of July. And as we discussed on a previous video, the comparative value of barley versus wheat drove demand through the roof last season, which led to extremely tight ending stocks in the UK. This combined with a delayed start to harvest following wet weather in, in end of June and early July, um, feed barley prices really rocketed in, uh, in the start of the month with trade and consumer shorts desperately trying to cover positions against the lack of supply. Although a week or 10 days late, harvest finally got underway the week before last and brought some relief to the spot squeeze in prices and we have now fallen back to pretty much harvest values. So far, the winter barley harvest is in full swing and we're probably 75% of the way through. Uh, we see yields averaging round about expectation to ever so slightly over. Barley has been cut very dry so far this season and I'd say we're easily averaging inside 14% moisture. Bushel weights, however, are a cause for concern um, and particularly in the southwest of the country, we are seeing very, very poor bushel weights come back as low as 54 kilos. Uh, but, you know, nationwide, we are seeing many struggles to make the contractual specification of 63 kilos. The quality does seem to be getting better here, but it is certainly a concern at the moment and something to watch over the coming weeks. So what is happening in the market? Globally, barley prices have fallen in the last few months with Northern Hemisphere harvest getting underway, combined with an overall lack of demand as barley is broadly uncompetitive into destination markets against other products. Following a lack of demand from China and the Middle East, Black Sea fog prices came off heavily by circa 50 US dollars in the end of June and July um, on supply pressure with big yields seen over there. And, uh, and this leaves the Black Sea the cheapest origin at the moment into into third country destinations for the remainder of the, of the calendar year. With this door closed, Northern Europe has been left to trade its own domestic market and barley once again here is struggling for demand due to broadly uncompetitive prices versus wheat and corn. In recent weeks, the UK has traded feed barley into Ireland, Spain, Portugal, the Netherlands. Um, however, domestic values in these destinations are currently well below UK replacement levels. And this situation has been exacerbated by extremely firm freight rates, freight rates sorry, with the shipping sector suffering in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic with a huge backlog and lack of available vessels. As a result, we expect to see a continuation of the harvest pressure we are currently seeing in the UK, particularly with London wheat prices rallying and dragging up barley prices in the deferred positions, whilst the market struggles for demand in the nearby. We may also see further pressure to the spread between barley and wheat for the same reason, with a surplus of around 1.5 million tonnes set to be produced in the UK this year, we really do need to find some export demand in order to clear this surplus. Though on the whole, flat prices should remain, you know, driven by developing stories in global wheat and corn markets. And barley is very much a follower of these markets at the moment. And that is all for me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out using the details at the end of this video.